Hey YouTube, um, this Pookie, um, I, I, I was finna go to sleep and I just saw this video by Flip, please go, if you haven't yet, you need to go check out her page, cause that, that nigga's funny as hell, and I mean, she got some nice topics, she know what she talking about, so, go, go check that nigga's page out, I mean, anyway, what was I talking about? She made this video not too long ago about studs that want to be dudes, and she kind of touched on this on this um topic that I personally have been wondering, which is hard studs versus soft studs. Now, what she was talking about was, you know, the real hard studs that got a haircut. I mean, I got a haircut too, but I used to have I used to have braids in there whatever and I had cornrows or whatever but you know she said that a lot of these hard studs that feel like you know you gotta have a haircut you gotta wear them real real baggy shirts and baggy pants or whatever now I wear this is my sweatpants I'm tired I put my sweatpants on but they feel that that's what being a stud means that you gotta be overly masculine you still a female boo boo at the end of the day, you take it out, even if you do wear your goddamn strap all around the place. Like, I know some of y'all do. Damn it. If you offended, shit, it's true. You got no dick. You got you a pussy, some lips, a clit. Every one of us bitches. So, goddamn it, get with the program or get you a set change. That's all I got. But, I mean, this hard stuff versus soft stuff thing. I mean, I've been called a soft stuff before. I've never been called a hard stuff. I've been called a soft stuff before. A middle one. I'm called AG. I don't really know what that is. But, a, a lot of females refer to me as a soft stuff because of my sexual preferences. Like, I'm not one of them touch me nine studs. I'm not a touch me some stud. I'm just a all everything goes kind of stay like you know not only sexy but the way I carry myself like you see this it's not like you still see I got take but you know I, I don't think that having braids or having your hair in a ponytail or, or having dreads or having a haircut makes you any less of it or any more of a stay I mean I, to me a stay is a woman, a girl, a female, a woman. That's all where studs to me. A stud, a diamond, ag, is a woman who has masculine qualities. That's what a stud is to me. That embraces her masculine qualities because I think a lot, a lot of lesbians, even friends, have those masculine qualities but don't embrace them as us. Studs, doms, ags do. I think that the way you carry yourself, every stud carries themselves differently. You don't have a conformity like it's not. You can't generalize it because we all individuals at the end of the day. We all specific people, and we gonna carry ourselves a different way. I mean, some doms out there get their nails done. I personally used to. I don't anymore because I don't got time, no money. I'm just playing. But I mean, there's some studs out there who like to get their hair did, like to get it braided. You know, they like to get it cut. Some people like to get it cut. I get my cut every two weeks. It doesn't make me any less or any more of a dime. I mean, some of us wear boxers. I know Donna doesn't wear boxers. It's not. It's not conformed to it. I mean, you can't say that every dime has to wear a box. Not true. Every dime has to get in fight every two weeks. Not true. I mean, do what do y'all think? Dimes, fans, anywhere, anybody, any homos, tell me, like, is there something that makes you a stud? 